of the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, and we have a very special guest with us today. It's me, Mr. X, coming Mr. to chat with you. Mr. X. Mr. X. What's up, man? Oh, man, I'm just uh, living the dream, but I had a little story for you. Oh, you got something <laughs> for us today? <laughs> Bring it I, in, Mr. I do, X. I do. Well, well I got... saw this on the news the other day, and... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, if you're watching the live stream, you'll know what's going on. Check it out. Check it out on YouTube, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, this is this, this is an article from Time Magazine. Okay. It says a new sexually transmitted fungal infection has been detected for the first time in the United States. It's called Moscock. Uh, <laughs> close, close. Earlier, uh, the study reported say that, now. that the first known case uh, was it's a new form of ringworm. Oh, okay. Okay. Was, it was discovered in a man from New York City in his 30s. The man oh, had dear. gone on a trip from England to England, Greece. And California. <laughs> what a what a trifecta! Just, just Who knows where he got it? Spreading from? that ringworm around, I guess. Who Wait, knows when he got it? And England, Greece, it, but, California. Okay. But he developed tinea, a type of skin rash, yeah. on his penis, penis buttocks, rash? and limbs. Wait a minute. So it gets the entire it got perineal, the whole thing, the entire perineal area. I don't, is it, I don't know is what it that all means, but sure. Contagious sexually? Like, can't you like rub your ringworm on somebody and it goes to them? So ringworm is a skin to skin contact thing, but you're saying it's that this one is it's like a rash, and not just like a ring. This is a sexually transmitted. Yeah, it, it's. It, I guess it's related to ringworm, but yeah, apparently okay. it was. It, this rent, this rash was on his penis, buttocks, and limbs. He's like, "No, nah, girl, it's just sweat rash. I was out in the heat yesterday." <laughs> so, is there is there cure? Is there a cure for it, or does it go away after time? Is there any permanent topical solution, cortisone based? You're, you're the professional. I I am the professional reader. <laughs> Truth here. not facts. Um, Truth not facts. Truth no, not no, facts. Not, honestly, it sounds scary. It's just like it's one more thing that we have to worry worry about out there when you're, you're in the dating in the dating field. It's caused by the species and, of. Trichophyton mentagrophytes type seven. Okay, right. thank you, Doctor uh, Fauci. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. Whoa, Make, wear your mask and stand six subject. feet apart, and it won't be a problem. Um, I knew it. <laughs> a sexually, so sexually transmitted form of ringworm that it has already spread across Europe, so it's common in Europe. Oh, uh, oh so we know where it came from. Yeah, yeah. So okay. in in France, thirteen cases in 2023. Mostly in men who have sex with men. Wait, oh, he, 13 so cases is that. widespread? Uh, well, in 2023, I guess. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. Dude, I didn't write this. Why are you guys Truth mean? not facts with the crazy yeah, exactly. compound. Exactly. Get out of here with all, with yeah, all your facts. Yeah, honestly, it, it, that is, that's kind of crazy, man. But Let's dudes see. do like to fuck. And like, if I'm a dude who likes to fuck dudes, I'm just going to be fucking dudes all the time. Yeah, lot, lots yeah, of fucking going is, on. Actually, that is what, from like gay dudes that I know. Mm hmm they they have all said that the culture like the gay men culture is a lot of hookup culture because like because usually like the men and a woman are together the men will probably have the man will probably have a higher sex drive and the woman's like the gatekeeper of that right like but if there's two dudes and they just want to fuck all the time this fuck like i mean and they're yeah it's and yeah. no one's like it's stepping in between to be like nah let's take a break like wow it's almost like like somebody put a limiter in the in the situation with the with the natural way that things are supposed to work and i say natural because you know like the way things are supposed to work why don't you tell me more about that oh my <laughs> god dude <laughs> live your life dude happy pride month by the way happy pride happy, happy pride month Freezing. by the way what time Raising. <laughs> I yeah, I mean I definitely am an ally. I will say that much. He's an ally. But there, you know, there's some there's some there's some intricacies in there. Either way, look. <laughs> there's some intricacies. If I get a mushroom growing out of my pee hole. Yep. You, um that's interesting. Is that gonna be a problem for me in the future? Well, it doesn't say anything in here about a cure, although it's fungal. So most fungals, I think, can be treated with antifungals. Yeah, topical. You're the medical professional topical here. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long it takes to clear up. You just use I mean, that cream for jock itch. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'd spray tenactin on it and call it a day. <laughs> Tough acting tenactin, you know. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that'll work. I don't All know. right, so, so you just, I mean, I guess we just have to be careful. We can be careful out. Wrap there. it up, guys. Yeah. If you're out there and this is what you're doing, you, you know, don't want to chi a pet growing. If out somebody's of your got a rash, go ahead and pass. 
to say, you know what? I'm going to pass. I see Pass the, on ass if there's a rash. Pass on the ass if there's any kind of rash. I, we, okay. We, have people. you ever, like, you know, gotten intimate with a girl and you, you go down and you... You pull the pants down and you remove her undergarments and then you see like a bump that's looking a little suspicious to you. Have you ever been like, you know, that has never happened to me. No, now. I've never. I'm, been. Honestly, young lady, I'm going to, I'm going to go home. I'm going to pass. I have never had to pass because of that. Okay. No, that is not. So is not I don't know why you're making it sound like it's so easy to do out there in the real world. Well, I'm just saying, if you see someone covered with a rash on their ass and their <laughs> dick, you should probably be like, you know what? Maybe I'm just going to take care of myself this time. Just say I, I get it. It's hard. I get it. It's hard. No pun intended. I get it. it, it it's it's difficult. Maybe not hard. The right well, word. What to say kind it. of chick is going to present a rashed up buttocks and vag to you? No, he said penis. He's talking or to that the, too. He's talking to the ladies. Oh well, no. These are this set is mostly around gay dudes. Is what this this article <laughs> said. I'm talking to my brothers. I'm talking to my I brothers that are banging my, other dudes. My, my, Your my, brothers. <laughs> my brothers that are out there banging other dudes. <laughs> Like wrap it up, guys. Like that's what we're saying. Oh my god! But yeah, I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't talk about female. This is Time Magazine just talking about. I mean, but just because it starts off. No, know, it's not. A, it's no, absolutely not. No, it, it's, you know, it can definitely move over to hundred percent. Hundred percent can move around. So <laughs> it does not say this is it specific to any anybody whatsoever. So if you see anybody presenting with rashes. What kind of asshole is going to come with a rashy cock <laughs> to the function? Clearly somebody. <laughs> clearly somebody. Function. And clearly some other people would be like, you know what? It's probably cool. He's like, no, nah, it's just a birthmark. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, I just had, I oh, got it as a, tan. got it as a poison ivy last week. Like I don't know. I, <laughs> Motherfucker, I suck your dick, I get a one-up. Whoa, <laughs> ayo. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Mario. I don't wow. know. This is, I'm with you. I'm with I, you. Yeah. You gotta get yeah. it. You gotta get it. I'm sorry. I'm a joke guy. Look, Jonas, say yeah. something say something intelligent about this right now. Well, I'll, I'll, <laughs> while he's thinking of something intelligent to say, <laughs> I will say it's always nice to know that we got new STDs out. No, like it's not. we've had it's we not nice. we've had the same ones for a while. It feels like they're getting and, old. You know, we got some yeah. new ones. The yeah. old ones are getting old. Yeah. yeah. So now watch out for the cockfight. Like I mean, That's they like, got super gonorrhea now. Oh, is I haven't heard of super gonorrhea. Yeah, is that like, like it's resistant? Like, uh, to, antibiotic resistant uh, or something? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, super gonorrhea resistant. Got ones. the clap. Or, yeah. You know. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't come up with a uh, with a solution to the HIV though. You know. Well, they've got the prep stuff out, and it's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's see, apparently it's the prep stuff works so pretty well, well, pretty it, well. It, like it becomes undetectable and un, and yeah, you can't it doesn't pass even it pop up in tests anymore that you have. Oh, it. It's wow. so like, yeah, it's undetectable and you can't even. They don't think you can even pass it on if you're if you're in this in all that stuff. Speaking so. of this, honestly, with like the advancements in medicine, have you heard about the uh, the new drug that they have that can actually continue people to grow teeth? Oh, I heard about that to no. like grow new enamel on their teeth yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, new they enamel actually, or new teeth? New teeth and new like, whole whole brand new teeth. Yeah, apparently it's like I look. I don't really know the science. Truth not science. facts. Truth not facts. But apparently, it, like once you grow your your permanent sets of teeth, that parts of your brain turns off, and they've learned to do something. And now they can trigger it so that even if you're an elderly person, you can still regrow a full set of teeth. That is awesome. Oh. As long as you don't start so like like growing your teeth out of your... where you don't have a spot for one and it's, it grows a new one there. Mm -hmm. That's it, I wonder if it knows when to stop growing them. Like in, when... I imagine if you discontinue the drug that it will stop. Growing. So I don't have to brush my teeth anymore is what you're telling me. That's what I'm getting out of this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fuck, just saying. Fuck the dentist until it's time. Did I ever tell you that I had an extra tooth in, when I was a kid? Oh, I don't know. Like, why would you? I've never, it's never come up in conversation. No. No, I, yeah. had a, uh, I had an extra tooth grow in through the roof of my mouth. Right in the middle of my mouth. Like in the middle? It was right in the middle. And I had to have well, it you... pulled out. No. It was like I absorbed my twin brother. And that was all that was left of him. I don't know. And that could have been like Darwin shit. You could have been evolving. And they, they pulled I'm that saying. shit out. I would have kept it. I remember because yeah. I distinctly remember like having gum and like pressing it into like the roof of your mouth. And then I pull it out and there'd be like a tooth mark in it. Like I like show I, my mom was like my mom didn't believe me that it was there. And I was like, no, there's really. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah. Okay. 
I had my wisdom teeth out, but that's about all I can say. I, okay. I had my wisdom teeth pulled out too. Yeah, I had them. I had them out when I was in my thirties, though. Ooh, that's rough. That's lame, it was. Yeah. It was not an enjoyable. I was experience. a teenager and it sucked. Yeah. I had one tooth pulled when I was an adult. I've only had one cavity my whole life, and it was the very, very far back molar mm -hmm. and it was on like it didn't even hurt it was on the side of the tooth oh, they don't and hurt. i didn't even know it was there and went to the dentist and he's like you got a really bad cavity and i go it doesn't hurt and he's like not yet he's like sure but he's like i recommend we pull it rather than because i because i got a mortgage to pay yeah right <laughs> and uh and then he like gave me Vicodin and shit, and I was like, "What the fuck? Why are you giving me all these strong pain meds? That shit hurt so He's goddamn like, bad." Because it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. That's oh why. my god, it hurt so bad. An adult having a full tooth pull. So I only yes. imagine what you went through. With I your... had four of them done. Oh my god. And yeah, it was not a pleasant. I mean, I, they they put me out. They put me out, and I didn't eat any yeah, solid food for like a week or two. Because that's the thing is like you it's get that so done when you're a teenager. Yeah. Your body's resilient as shit. But as you start getting older, it stuff does not work as good. And man, that was a long, long week yeah, or two. Yeah, like I remember accident because like I, I, te I guess I tended to chew food on that side of my mouth. Oh, yeah. So I would like straight into the socket. And, oh, it would hurt like a bitch for mm -hmm. like but you had one on all four sides. Yep. How the hell did you eat anything? They didn't like, eat, I just ate applesauce pretty much for a long, <laughs> long time. For six months straight. Yeah. I just I ate like, pudding. Yeah. And I've been making up for it since. That's why. <laughs> all right. Nice I want some yeah. chicken wings. God damn. I want to use my teeth to rip some meat off a bone. Yeah. There you really? go. Honestly, I'm like, I'm looking at this new advancement and I'm like, boxers. UFC fighters, yep. football, hockey players. I'm just going to let you go out and curb stomp me and bring me in. We'll <laughs> oh, oh. Jesus Christ, oh. man. American History X yeah, showing geez, up. Here Jesus. it is. I mean, I'll do it, but I'll, God. I'll do it, but I'm not going to. sign. Oh, we're going to sign some waivers first, though. <laughs> Let's just be clear. It's okay. He just has to buy the medicine for me. I'll get all my teeth back. <laughs> okay. uh, your, your teeth are safe. Watch out for your dick. That's right. Watch it out. Watch, sure. watch for fungus. Watch for rashes. Just, you know, is a PSA from the uh, Crazy Town crew here. But your teeth, you're good. We got you. Yeah, we got you on teeth. <laughs> Thank China. Wow. <laughs> it's Europe, I think. I'm yawning now. <laughs> That's no. all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Mr. X. We're out.